Hello fellow traders, welcome to another video on my channel Tradition Algo where I discuss about trading strategies, indicators, algo trading and trading tools. So today we are going to demonstrate a very powerful tool which is essential for the professional traders. So as a trader, you also probably thought of creating your own Telegram channel where you can publish your trading signals. The channel could be either public or it could be a private in nature so that you can only send the signals to your subscribed members. Well, if you have to do it manually, you have to create your own channel and you have to create some common format and copy all the prices into that format and copy that text and put it into your channel. You also need to take care of the formatting and all. So it is time consuming, right? But with the help of this tool, you can do that with just few button clicks. So let me show you how quickly you can send your trading signal to your Telegram channel. So I will guide you the step-by-step -step process, how you can configure your own Telegram channel, whether it is public or private, with this excellent tool. I bet it will make your life a lot easier if you are going to use this tool. Without making further delay, let me show you how this is going to work. First of all, I would like to show you the input section very quickly. So if I go to input section, you can see the first input is to get the token from bot father. I will come to this point when I am going to show you how you can configure your Telegram channel. Put your channel ID. This will also be covered in that topic. These are the display settings for our panel. So you can put the panel top, panel left, and the panel width percent and height percent. So panel top 20 and panel left 30 means the leftmost corner of the panel will start from 20, 30 of your chart screen. Panel width and height 30 and 80 means the width of the panel would be 30 and the height would be 80% of your chart window. The text height percent is set to 1.5. That means it will, it will set the text height to 1.5% of the rendered chart screen. We can set few colors like the background color, the text color, the buy button and the sell button color, other button colors, and element border colors. If you don't want border, you can simply set it to white. And lastly, we have the show copyright info. If you don't want, you can set it as false. Now let us come back to our panel details. The first row is the header message. So if you want that your message should contain some header text, you can put this inside this text box. So I am putting this is a test header. The next field is the footer message. So I'm again going to put this is a test footer. Please note both of these fields are optional. If you don't want header or footer message, you can keep it blank. The next field is price. So if you want to place a particular price, you can place it here like if you want that if you want that from this resistance zone, your subscribers should place a sell order with some stop loss and take profit details. So you can simply put that price over here. So the price is 1.10435. So I can simply put 1.10415. Now let us move to the market button. So if you want to send the signal based on your market price, you can simply click on this market button. It will copy the market price of the selected symbol. Here is our stop loss point. So if you want that your stop loss would be 100 points, you can simply put 100 here. If you want any other value, you can put it in the text box. And on the next row, we have risk to reward ratio. So we have three values for the risk to reward ratio. So most of the time I have seen people using three take profits. So that's why I have kept three risk to reward ratio. So the first text box tells us that what should be the multiplier of the first take profit with respect to the stop loss. So one means first take profit would be also 100 points. Two means the second take profit will be 200 points. And three means the third take profit should be 300 points. Now we can always change this to any value. Like if you make it two, four, 
and 5, then that means our first take profit will be 200 points, second will be 400 points, and third will be 500 points. Now, if I press on calculate TP, it will populate the points within these three take profit boxes. So let me tell you what this calculate buy and the calculate sale is meant for. So as I have selected my stop loss point to be 100 and three take profit would be 200, 400 and 500 respectively. So if I hit on calculate buy, so it will simply deduct 100 points from the price which we have mentioned in this text box and it will add 200 points, 400 points and 500 points and will calculate the three take profits accordingly. So if I hit it, as you can see, it has just calculated all the stop loss and take profits. Now inversely, if you want to generate a sell signal, we have to click on calculate sell. So it will do the reverse. So as you can see, our stop loss is set to 1.10456 and take profit are 200 point, 400 point and 500 point respectively. So we have almost at the end of our panel demonstration. So, so the only thing which is remaining now is to click on this send buy or the send sell button. So please be careful as we have calculated this for sell, we should click on the send sell button so that it will send the sell signal. If we have calculated this for buy, we have to click on send buy button so that it would send the signal for buy. So before I hit on this two button, let me show you how you can configure your Telegram account and your Telegram channel to integrate with this particular tool. So without making delay, let me open my Telegram. So I'm going to create a channel So let me put the channel name as Federation Algo Test. This channel is for testing techniques. Cool. We have created our channel. Now, now the next step is to search for the channel Bot Father. So if you search with Bot Father, you will see this particular channel. You just have to click on this and when you go to this channel you have to create a new bot so for that you have to type slash new bot all right so it's asking me for the name of our new bot so i am giving this tradition algo tester okay so it's asking me for a username Tester. So let us put the same name and see what this. Okay, so it's saying it should end with a bot. So let us put a bot at the end. Okay, so it has created a ID which will be used in our particular tool. So let me quickly copy this ID and keep it in a notepad. So now we have to open our bot and put this ID over here. So I will simply copy this ID and put it here. Now the next thing we have to do is to put our channel ID. All right, so our next step is to add our bot as an administrator to our channel. So for that, I will click on our channel and I have to click on this particular header and then go to edit channel. Then I have to go to administrator. Now here we have to add our bot as administrator. So before doing that, let me check the bot name once again so our bot name was traditional algo tester bot so i will copy this name and we'll go to administrator section now i put here okay now our bot has appeared here so we'll just select our bot and click on okay it's taking some time 
probably we have to refresh the page to check whether the bot has added the administrator. Yes, it has added uh, our bot as an administrator. You can check here. Our bot has been added as an administrator. So we have to copy the channel name once again and have to verify whether we have put the correct channel name. So I will just simply paste it over here. Click on OK. So I will quickly fill up the things once again. Now, finally, we are going to hit the send by button. So it's showing us access to the server is not possible. Chat cannot be found. Okay, so it was a private channel. So first we have to make it public channel. We put a name, tradition, and go testing. Our channel has now become public. Now I have to copy the channel name one second. I will try again. Test header. This is a test footer. Yep, we got our first signal. So whenever you are configuring your account for the first time, it has to be public channel. So if you keep it private channel for the first time, it won't work. Now I am going to show you the trick how you can convert this channel to private channel and still can send the message. So now I am going to convert this to a private channel. For that, I will go to the channel info once again. And I will change this to a private channel. Okay, now notice this thing. When I hit send by button, I got a response in my experts tab, which is this one. So all we need to do is to copy this message and put it in a notepad. Now from here, we have to copy this ID and we have to replace this ID in our channel ID. And now we have to click on OK. I am not going to set the header message again. Just let me quickly calculate the buy trade. And I'm trying to send it now. See, uh, we have a message for our private mm. channel as well. Okay. So as you can see, our channel is private. We are still getting the message. So let me wait one more time. This time I will calculate cell. We have a cell signal here. I hope you find the information helpful and insightful in your trading journey. Like I always say, trading is a continuous learning process and there is always something new to discover. Always remember to approach trading with the discipline, patience, and sound risk management strategy. Keep learning, keep growing. Lastly, remember to subscribe my channel for more trading content and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Also, feel free to comment with any questions or suggestion for the future topic you would like us to cover. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.